It had to happen at some point, a Pagani design on the channel. There's a few different things about this one, but we've got a couple of them here. A couple of the PD-1644s. We've got the rainbow, the rainbow, but we also have the ice blue meant to look like the platinum Daytona. So there's a couple things. We'll zoom in on the watch here. You got to really make peace with a few things. Number one, you're not buying this for any sort of uh, horology, all right? You're, you're not sitting there thinking of, of high watchmaking or anything like that. And, and I know a lot of people point to that and say, well, even Invicta has something, whatever. The Invicta lineage has been washed to within an inch of its life because it's been transferred and sold and commercialized. So I don't really put a lot of stock into that stuff. Wear what you want to wear. This doesn't say uh, Romex on it or anything like that. It's not trying to be a one-for-one. One. They make slightly different designs. They have different color ways and stuff like that on this. It's its own company, and you got to just be, be okay with that. And once you get past that, there is a lot to enjoy with these devices. First off, the movement. I'm not a fan of, and I would say shy away from, those super cheap automatics that they put in these. Those HK automatics that you see all listed on there. Some people have had a bunch of problems with those. They're probably hard to service. At some $100, you're probably not going to service it anyway. You're probably just going to get another one. But I personally like the Daytona-esque ones because they give us that Seiko VK63, the Mecha Quartz movement in here. So I know there's something, there's a backbone there. I know the thing's not going to fall apart. It's just suddenly not keeping time. But both of these keep excellent time. I've had no issue with either of these watches. And they're really, really nice. So that way, I know the guts inside at least have a little value to them. Then there's the design. You can't beat this. I mean, look at that. I, I think, what is it? The, the Rolex version is, is four degrees difference in each diamond on the color wheel. Something like that. I mean, I doubt that they've matched that entirely with these crystals here. But if you go around it. It sparkles, it looks nice, it blends beautifully in there. It's not a, an abrupt kind of switch between the colors. It's just an overall fantastic look. And think about it this way. Nobody else is really bringing you a lot of these designs because they encroach, they get a little close to the Rolex design. So people, I guess, panic about that. They're not things that they want to do, but it, it's a fun look. I think it's interesting. It's cool. There's a lot of nice designs that at this price point, and even $500,000, you're just not going to have. Plus, if you're spending $400 on that Rolex, or you're spending $40,000 on this one, $30,000 on this one, you're not wearing it out. You're not wearing it to Target. you, you got to bring your own security detail with you. So these are watches that you can wear. Like, I wore this to bowling last night. It's a watch you can wear out, just fun, look at it, enjoy it. I mean, that's what it's about. If you're spending your money, you, you shouldn't have to worry about some of these other things. And this is something that you get. Now, it's not all it's not all positives when you're dealing with this. There are trade-offs for $100 on a stainless steel design with a sapphire crystal with 100 meters of water resistance and a screw-down crown. The, you got the also you got the locks, the screw locks on the pushers. They work, no issue. But you are going to fly back. By the way, let's go ahead and show you the the Mecha Court sweep there on that as you go across, and then we'll stop it. And then we'll hit it. And you can see that there. That's really nice. And you screw them back down. But it's not all positives for what you're getting. There are some things that you're going to have to deal with. And one of those things is the quality control of the device itself. My ice blue one had a little issue with that being slightly off center. It's tough to tell here. But if in person you can see the second half, the sweep for the chronograph is slightly off off center there this one is just perfectly fine the crowns are not the smoothest in the world they're a little tough you unscrew them and it's it, there's a little gasket in there for the water resistance so i do have faith in that 100 meters but you really gotta sometimes you feel like you're breaking it be careful there's like a hitch point where you kind of get past it and it screws in my other one the ice blue had an issue where this screw down lock is a little fidgety you kind of have to really get it in there and it stays sometimes it can unwind the good thing now and the reason why i'd feel okay recommending these is that it's now available through amazon in fact they even have on the page link will be in the description it does help the channel they actually have it on the page now where you could try one of these for seven days and return it and then you get the regular amazon return policy 
anyway. So you can pick yours up. If there's a really glaring defect, something you just can't live with, you can send it back. Instead of previously, for these watches, we kind of had to deal with AliExpress. And you kind of roll the die there. Whatever, whatever you get, you get. Kind of like a lottery. Amazon provides you some comfort there and a little flexibility, at least here in the United States. But it's a way to get that look, have a bit of fun. Like I said, if you're going to get one of these, be picky. It's okay. You know, If there's something you just can't live with, if something's off-center, something's not working right, if, if yours is a little loose in an area or the screw-down crown isn't to your liking, send it back. You know, Get what your money, get what you paid for. But it's tell, I think I saw a comment somewhere once that these Pagani watches are like potato chips. It's very tough to have just one. And that's true because you get hooked on these looks. And like I said, you, know, you, you spend $500. You know, Seiko's not doing this. They don't want, it, they don't want that headache of, of getting close to a design of another manufacturer. Any of these companies, you're, you're not going to have that. But you get the look. It's nice, nicely done. In fact, this one, the ice blue, a lot of the pictures on Amazon have it look at more, more turquoise. But I can confirm, it is a very nice ice blue, which is a wonderful contrast with the brown. And they say ceramic on the bezel. I don't know if that's true or not, but it does feel nice. There's no issue. It's definitely not plastic, so it does feel like a good material there. But they're gorgeous. They're fantastic. They're a good weight. They're quartz movements, so they're nice and thin. Flat sapphire crystals on top. Stainless steel, they're hollow bracelets, they're a bit of a pain. Like the, the clasp on this one is a bit tough to open. That's why I've left it open because I'm going to put it back on my wrist after this video. This one is a bit because it's just kind of like this. We'll show it. Is it, yeah, a familiar looking look clasp here, right? This one you just pull apart. That one you got to kind of dig your thumb in and get it out. But feels good on the wrist. Nice and light. You barely notice they're there. But you look down and you get the shimmer of these crystals and it's just, it puts a smile on your face. It's a conversation starter. I don't know how many people asked me about this watch last night. And I was more than happy to tell them it was 90 bucks. Or whatever it is. Well, well one, maybe this one's a bit more. I think it's 108. Because it's not, it's not trying to be anything else. I mean, maybe you say the design, whatever. Yeah, okay, fine. But you know, everything, everything is basically uh, uh, the divers. You're going to be looking at a, 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 a copy, not a copy, but an homage of the uh, Submariner. Right? I mean, you got those. To, uh, everything else uh, go down the line you got tutor you got all the ones that the timex ones that they did they're like the black bay go down the line all right nobody's innocent here so at least enjoy what you get get yourself a watch that you like get yourself a watch that's a bit fun that i think personally you could feel good about having and not have to worry about it show it off proudly to people i, I love showing this thing to people i was like look at this look at that look at the the way that it, it, it glimmers like that in the light and you feel plenty good and now you got that added security of being able to get through Amazon. So I think that certainly helps a lot. If you've made it this far, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Until next time, have that Steve Lucious day.